I've been a Navy Fed member for the last 30 years. Oh my God, that's a long, that's a long time. And in my family, by the way, a lot of folks are just uh, Navy Fed members, like by birth, right? I think we have about 92% of folks who are Navy Fed members. And the thing is, when it comes to credit card application and Navy Fed, one thing I realized that I realized is that every single year or every two years, whatever, they change the rules. And so what I real the thing is, I'm noticing that now they're paying more attention to income. See, back in the days, I'm talking five years ago, they used to pay attention to your internal score. They still do, but not as prominently as they used to. And uh, they they used to pay attention to your credit score also. I mean, those your, your FICO score is always going to be prominent in a, a decision that, in a credit decision, no matter whether it came from Navy Fed or, or another, uh, another player. But I think this year, because I was thinking about getting another credit card from my little cousin, and I realized that Navy Fed is paying attention more to your income. So if you're saying, listen, I'm making 10 grand a month or I'm making five grand a month, they start digging like deeper. First of all, if you don't have direct deposit with the Navy Fed, you know, you can say anything about your, your income. They may believe you, but it doesn't hold any kind of uh, importance. So the thing is that, you know, they kind of are jealous. Like they say, well, you're making a lot of money, but you, you're not really parking some of, the, some of that cash with us. So what's up with that? They're not going to say this to your face, but I guarantee you. I mean, and the thing is that I have insiders. I have uh, a lot of folks working in my company. We have a lot of folks who actually uh, have insiders there. So the thing is, income is number one. So if you're trying to, to uh, apply for a Navy Fed credit card these days and you want to be approved real fast, yeah, I want you to emphasize the, um, the income part. And the income part is kind of easy. So you want to set you want to set a uh, you want to set the right deposit. You want to have all your proof, like, you know, your pay stubs and uh, and please make sure that you solidify the business, uh, not the business, the job that you have. Right. It was one of those things that I really wanted to pay attention to going into the credit card application. I, I, I wasn't really uh, I wasn't really because I already have two Navy Fed credit cards, but I was applying for my little cousin. And I said, you know what, since I'm actually uh, endorsing the card for for him. And he was, I'm going to add him as an authorized user or just maybe, maybe he can apply on his own. I realized I wanted to test the system. So I realized after doing a lot of tests that income is really more important that nowadays than anything else. Your credit score is important. Your, uh, your, your job is important, but your income, your cash inflows is really critical. And the thing here, the one thing that I also realized is that sort of uh, correlated to the income part is also the length of your employment. See, the thing is that if you have, uh, if you've been working in the same company for two years versus uh, 20 years, there is a bit of uh, solidity there, right? So in every fact, they start, they start paying attention a lot to the, I mean, last night I was talking to, um, to um, one of my classmates, like high school classmates. I haven't seen him for what? I think 20 20 years yeah the last time we, we met in philly that was like a long time ago and he was talking to me about hey you know i applied for a navy fed and i got approved right away and i was like your credit score is really low how come you got approved right away and he told me he has been at the same company for 25 years okay can, can you imagine that he's been working in the same company for 25 years and i was like whoa okay and he said that you know that that was an important element he had the right deposit with navy fed also so the money was flowing into his in, in, into his account every month and i was like okay so this is a new this is new stuff now because navy fed again you know i realized after research that they pay attention to income a lot now they're paying attention to length of employment not just employment not just because you have a job, they start paying, you know, they, they would start like, I, I think, ascribing sort of prominence to your application. No, no, no. They will ascribe prominence to like underwriting prominence to your application, to your credit card application. If you have solidity, tenure, if you have tenure in your job. So, so be very careful before you apply. Ask yourself, how long have I been with a company? And if you've been with a company for a long time and you have sort of decent credit, credit score you will qualify and, and they'll give you you know the, the amount that they might actually uh they might actually bless you with five grand or, or ten grand who knows it really depends also it depends also in um, it depends on uh timing so if you apply during uh the summer the summer summertime that's what i've seen in, uh, in my research and my team has seen the same thing too they tend to be more they tend to be uh i would say stingy they will give you a, a small ass limit but if you apply during the holiday season let's say year end around the winter like the you know winter the winter months like let's say uh, like let's say october 
uh, October, November, December, they are more generous around that time. So be very, so just, I want you to plan your application the proper way. So, and with the right planning. One thing I really realize is that when it comes to Navy Fed, if you are trying to get, if you want to get a, the, your 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 uh, your best credit card real fast, make sure first of all that you pre-qualify. That way you are saving everything. And uh, I I knew that because I, I said to myself, you know, at this point in my life, I'm not really losing any uh, any FICO points anymore. You know, I'm tired. You know, my ace is tired of all those uh, you know hard pulls. They're just uh, reducing my credit score ten points here, five points here. They all add up. I mean, the, you know, the last time I was just sitting, I, I was just sitting in my house and I was just like, you know, how much. Did I lose this year to hard to unnecessary hard pulls? I was like, "Ooh, you know," because I just wanted to have a card, right? I was like, "Yeah, this card, I'm gonna get it anyway." <laughs> this is this was the bad this was a bad mistake. So going forward, I said to myself, "I'm gonna plan everything. I'm gonna plan any card, any credit card that I apply that I apply to, whether it is a Navy Fed, Pen Fed, you name it. You know, regular bank uh, or small or uh, let's say a regional bank like U.S. Bank or PNC. I'm planning everything." So. So the thing is, for, for Navy Fed, I said to myself, I'm going to pre-qualify. And pre-qualify means what? You can actually trigger the pre-qualification or you can just wait. The thing is, if you want to trigger the pre-qualification, one thing I found that works for me is that I just I just went to a Navy Fed branch and I, I, I expressed my intention, my desire to be pre-qualified. First of all, I asked, is there any pre-qual offer for people like me? You know, I, oh, I mean, the lady, she was like, what are you talking about? Well, you know, I, I said, ma'am, I'm here to apply for a credit card. And I would like to know, based on the on my membership uh, history, based on the length and uh, depth of my relationship with Navy Fed, I wanted to know whether or not there was uh, a pre-qualification offer for me. So she she went, actually, uh, you know, I was sitting there a, a little nervous too, though, but, you know, to my surprise, she went to her supervisor, whatever, and she came after 23 minutes. I timed it. It was funny. It was 20. It was 25 minutes, not 23, 25 minutes. Exactly. She came to me. And she said, yes, yeah, sir. We think uh, there is a prequel offer for you because see, the thing is, sometimes they'll have the prequel offer for you. Right. And they will send it to you in the mail. So you'll see it and you could just uh, check it, check it out and just uh, send it to them. Or you can go to a branch and get it, too. So. Just make sure that you you get a prequel, and the thing is, so once you have a prequel, you just go through the process, and if you like the offer they make to you, apply for the card. Apply for the card, as you know, when you apply for the card, they do a credit check, and if, if they approve you, they'll basically text you. You know, nowadays they use like nowadays they will send you a text message saying you know you're you're qualified, blah 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 blah. Back in the days, they used to send you like a lengthy uh, lengthy uh, mail, like snail mail, but right now, no. This in your text, a text, and uh, and that that's it, right? Now, if you're not approved, they'll send you a letter though in the mail, an official letter. And once you, if you're approved, you just wait for like uh, seven to ten days, and you get your card ASAP. One thing that I really uh, realize is that. When you're really thinking about a Navy Fed credit card, uh, I realized a lot of my friends who are also Navy Fed members, including my team members, including uh, my, my business, uh, my, like employees in my business, I realized that they really don't know how to use their Navy Fed credit card to the best. See, everybody, see, I realized that after talking to friends and family, that a lot of folks uh, just want to have a Navy Fed card and, and people are, are just interested in the things like um, the, uh, the cash bag, the 1% they get here, 2% and I'm like, that's like, that's a really tiny ass rewards you're getting. You can get more. And the thing is you have a lot of benefits that actually come with the Navy, with any Navy Fed credit card for that matter. And you have to focus also on, on those benefits so because, you know, not, I'm not talking just, I'm not talking just about the points, the balance transfers and, and also, uh, you know, and what have you, but you got to also think about the fact that, you know, you, if you have a, a Navy Fed member, a, Let's say you are you have a Navy Fed membership and you have a, a credit card from Navy Fed. Did you know that you actually have twenty four seven access to stateside member reps? Yeah, yeah. I mean that's kind of cool. You have zero liability policy for unauthorized transactions. It, it, this is one thing that I really found interesting because you know, like uh, two years ago, no, one year ago, after COVID got got came, uh, uh, after all the COVID restrictions got lifted, I traveled, you know, with my family to Punta Cana, right? 
And uh, so somebody was playing games with with my card. I don't know what happened. I think so, sometimes when you give your card to a, a bartender or whatever, and they kind of get your card and they, and they take the numbers. I think that's what happened. I'm not really sure. Please don't don't quote me on that. But the thing is that I, you know, after uh, that trip to Punta Cana, I realized I started seeing like some crazy stuff on my card. I was like, oh, okay. But hey, listen, when I call Navy Fed, they actually just cancel everything at once. So that's that, that's really good in terms of zero liability policy for unauthorized transactions which means what you're not really you're not liable okay and we love the fact that with navy fed you know i but the thing the thing of my wife also likes is that we actually have like you have no balance transfer or foreign transaction fees so we can travel all we want or we can transfer balances this is kind of cool so i realized that if i wanted to have a navy fed credit card nowadays i needed to pay more attention to those things like fraud fraud uh, fraud notifications the ability to freeze and unfreeze my card. You know, I've done it several times already, but I, I, I still enjoy it anyway. Especially that I can access my credit score at any time. Ooh, th this is really good. This is really good, you know. And, and on top of that, you are able to uh, to also access like low APR credit cards. So this is really good. So the thing is that nowadays you want to be very careful about, like not careful, you want to be mindful of the benefits that are associated with Navy Fed credit cards, okay? If you really want to, uh, if you really want to enjoy. And one thing I, I tell a lot of folks who, who who talk to me like about Navy Fed credit card is that you need to choose your card wisely. You know, the thing is Navy Fed doesn't have the same number of cards that the Chase has or US Bank has like, Navy Fed is not a credit card uh, sort of a powerhouse. However, the the few cards that the the institution has, those just really wonderful card, wonderful credit card. If you really know exactly what kind of card you're looking for, because because uh, that's one thing I realized also, like you know, and I realized this a long time ago. And I, I'm talking seven years ago. I started realizing that people just get credit cards from Navy Fed and uh, and USAA or or Service or Penn Fed. Or like all the other military and the, all the other military uh, credit unions, people are getting credit cards from them just randomly. I was like, you know, what's up with that? So you got to be you got to be really mindful of uh, the benefits that are associated with each credit card. Like I'll give you an example. So I was like, you know, do I really want a cash rewards credit card from Navy Fed? Hmm, maybe yes, because you know our family is uh, is growing and. Uh, it's a card like a cash reward card. The cash rewards card allows you to earn up to 1.75% cash back on all purchases. And, and what we love is that you can redeem as soon as you earn. And you know, like and the APR is kind of decent because when you really sit down, you're like, okay, close my eyes. They're charging me 14.40 to 18%. This is really good. On top of that, they are actually uh, giving you a 250 bonus cash back when you spend 3,000 within 90 days of account opening. So that's just fantastic because for me, I mean, uh, for for my family, we were spending like uh, more than three thousand within within ninety days. So the card, this card is kind of cool. If you are interested, let's say you, you know, if you want to use a card for everyday spending, grocery shopping, and you have you seem to have like average to excellent credit, you love the card anyway. Okay, and an another card that we love also that I actually I have tested a few years ago. I tested it like let's say uh, nine years no not nine no three years ago four years ago before COVID is the Navy Fed. More rewards, American Express card. I always love those hybrid kind of cards because you're able to actually get the benefits of both worlds. That's what I thought, you know, and that's what I still think anyway. It's a card that, that's great. If you really think about it, you are able to uh, to uh, have three X points at supermarkets, three X points on gas and transits, three points at restaurants, and one points on everything else. This is kind of cool. I mean, again, the APR is kind of decent. You're looking at 14, 40 to 18 percent, and on top of that, you are able to earn 25 percent, 25,000 bonus points. When you spend 3k uh, within uh, 90 days so you know i'm like it, it's all good for me because you know I, I, i'm just winning anyway which i love to do because I, I love to win okay and another card that i have seen uh, a lot of my friends are using without knowing what the card really stands for is the visa signature flagship rewards card and this is a card that i knew before going into the whole thing i knew that i could get a lot if i could use if i could just uh you know spend like spend more on traveling because the card is this card is a uh, is great for, tra for traveling you have uh, three x points for every dollar you spend on travel and two x points on everything else and i was like okay you know and but the card that does charge you a 49 dollar fee but i'm like you know if i can find like a uh, two really good trips during the year with me for me and my family or even for my employees yeah i mean 
you know, because the card allows you to earn 40k bonus points when you spend 4,000 within 90 days of account opening. You know, who can beat that? I mean, you know, I mean, there are other um, competing competing offers from from the chase chases of the world, the Bank of America, but Navy Fed in its Navy Fed is playing in its own lane and it's doing a great job at that. So I love that a lot, you know, because uh, Navy Fed has never uh, has never forsaken me, has never uh, abandoned me, has never uh, disappointed me. Okay. And uh, so this is kind of cool. And the fact that they're charging me $49 annual fee, it's not really a big deal. I mean, it's not, I mean, this card, I do have this card anyway. I mean, that trip to Punta Cana, I use this card for it. Okay. So this is kind of cool. And uh, yeah, so this is great. The other card that I want to talk to you about, that that's the Gold Rewards card. I mean, this seems to be like a very, uh, very popular card that, you know, um, I do have. Uh, so my wife and I, we have the Gold Rewards and uh, and the other card that I just spoke to you about, you know. And the thing here is that, you know, we realize that it's a card that's great for it. If you're trying to get points at restaurants, points on gas or everything else, you'll love the card. And on top of that, the APR, we, we actually got a 13.84, 13.84 percent of APR on this card and uh, we are so happy when we, we realized that the range the delta for this APR for this uh, card is 13.74 to 18 percent can you can you imagine that and the card actually is great because uh, you can use this card for a lot of things you can use the card like the card has no balance trans uh, no balance transfer fee no foreign transaction fees as as do all credit cards from the Fed anyway but you're able to actually have points on gas and points on restaurants, no cash advance fees. So, you know, I'm like, you know, I, I love this car because, uh, especially because, you know, I, I sat down and, and I started, like, I put everything in Excel, right? And I'm like, you know, if I'm getting this amount of uh, rewards every month, you know, here is where I will be in six months from now, 12 months from now, from now. And it's because the car has no rewards limit, no rewards aspiration, and uh, you, you can actually uh, redeem the points for travel, for cash, for gift cards and merchandise. So it was the best of both worlds too, you know? So that that's really that's really a good thing. And the last card I want to talk to you about, and, and I also analyzed the card, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna use this card also for another family member who actually graduated last year from UPenn, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna give her a gift, and the gift was I'll give her this uh, this Navy Fed and Rewards Secure card, is because she she's she's at a point in her life where she needs to establish credit. She's a new credit card user. She's she's trying to really do a lot of things. And I said to myself, I'll, I'll just give it to her anyway. And she was so happy. You know, we applied. I gave her the 500. I gave her $500 to actually uh, to, to to use as deposit. This card is great also because it has uh, the card. The, the APR is 18%, which is really decent for this kind of cards. And I just told her, listen, I want you to pay everything. Just want, I just want you to I want you to pay everything. Don't actually accumulate anything on your card, right? Because you're you're trying to build credit, and you don't want to be in, you want, you don't want to be in the habit of uh, accumulating stuff on your card. So she said, yeah, you know, I'll do it, whatever. So, but I, I'll be I'll be tracking that. I'll be tracking uh, her. I'll be monitoring her her spending. But overall, the point I, the point I'm trying to make is that I realized that you know research always pays off. Like if if you do not apply for a Navy Fed credit card randomly, you are going to be happy because the research will show will show will show off at the right time one thing i also realized after going through uh navy fed a credit card research and an application and i just realized that not only are they changing the rules all the time but the thing is they're adding more more benefits so first of all you have to understand with, if you have a Navy Fed credit card, you have you have you now have access to more rewards that you that you had that you did back five years from now. I mean, five years ago or ten years ago. So this company is this company, this credit union, this institution, if you will, is constantly evolving. They're changing the rules, but they're changing the rules to their advantage, but also to the to the members' advantage sometimes because they realize that hey, listen, you know, if the members are not if they if a policy. It's not advantageous to members. They're not going to want to grow, and they're growing crazy like crazy. So basically, right now with Navy Fed, if you are a card member, if you're a card holder, you are able to uh, redeem credit card rewards, which is really great. You have member deals. That's what I was just talking to uh, talking to, talking to you about earlier, right? You can use your credit card to shop uh, 
like maybe if it has its own member deal and the thing is you'll get higher rewards just for purchasing through member deals free shipping from uh, certain retailers and exclusive offers and other perks this is another way that navy fed found to actually make extra extra cash flow because what they do is they'll go to those retailers and they try to negotiate good deals before those retailers because navy fed knows that it has already a massive i would say uh member base right it's the it's the it's the number one credit union in the whole world so they do have some kind of financial power there so when they talk to so retailers see also the the, the benefits that's why navy fed wants to wants to encourage you to buy through to buy their member deals and one thing I also love about the uh, Navy Fed, and I've always loved that part with them, is that you get your credit score. So if you you just need to sign in, sign into or your Navy Fed account to easily view your credit score. I mean, you, if you use the app, that's the app is kind of cool too, and you can see that you can see your credit score very easily. Nothing complicated. You can see your credit scores and reports, you know, and you you can also see if you qualify for any credit card without even applying for a credit card. That's what I was talking to you about earlier when I said that prequal is the way to go. Prequal, is, you know, this is something that it took me so many years to actually realize that, but finally I'm realizing that hey, listen, prequal is the way to go.